This Rapali show is about my past, before Rapalia and the beginning of Rapalia. I answer some questions uh, which you asked to me, I hope to answer uh, all of them, of course, but you can't answer all of them. And I'll show you some, some real neat stuff that I used to do. I hear it in the country, I hear it in the town, I hear it in the pub, where I drink it till I drown. Don't want to take no threats, no wax to see the crowd. Friends are into hip hop, but I am into folk, I'm into folk, I'm into folk. I told it to be friends, but they fought and lost a joke, I'm into folk, I'm into folk. Friends are into hip hop, but I am into folk. Well, I started as a musician actually when I was two years old. My parents had a, uh, a piano in the house, and well, as a kid, you get, you get curious, so you, you start playing with one finger on it, and well, that was a bit boring after a while, so you start to play with two fingers, and then you use even more fingers, and well, in the end, you seems to use ten fingers on the piano, so you can do almost anything on the piano. So that's how I started. And then I, I met someone who played the guitar, I thought, that's good, that's good, I wanted to learn the guitar. So he learned me to play the guitar, and then we just started the band. The band was called April, and we had, well, not very many gigs, but we, we, we wrote all our songs, and, and they were actually good songs. It wasn't was a bad band. But then, then I met Michael, and yeah, well, we were, we were a bit bored with, with, with pop music, so we thought, folk music because we we just discovered it in the artist pop in Groningen. we just discovered folk music so we thought folk music that's a good thing to do right let's do that but well you need folk instruments and you need to be able to play them as well and well we didn't of course Michael played the guitar I thought accordion fiddle tin whistle and I said to Michael you have to, you have to play the squeeze box that's good because fiddle and squeeze box that's that's, that's something that goes together so very, very well. So that's, that's actually what we did. So we, uh, we actually we, uh, we created a band. Uh, it was a bit of a fusion between my old band and, well, let's say the beginning of Rapalje. Uh, it was called Bates Motel. But Michael and me, we, we weren't very satisfied with the band, so we kicked everyone out and, well, we, we, the two of us were left over from it. Uh, so, well, what we did is played in bars and on the streets, because Michael had experience as a street musician and, and playing in bars and just going around with the hat and, and getting a little bit of money or a lot of money, so I learned later. So he said, no, oh, come on, let's do that. And come on, just go on. He, he got me on, on a stage somewhere in, in a cafe with my, <coughs> with my violin and I actually never played the violin before. I just got it that day. I rang him up and I said, I've got a violin. He said, OK, come on, we're going to do a performance. I said, no, no, we have to practice. And then he just hung up and well, he got to me and well, we played. And well, that's actually a bit how it started. So we started out as a, as a duo on the streets and in pubs. And then it got bigger and bigger, and we got uh, guest musicians. William was at first a guest musician. We changed our name from Ruck and Pluck to uh, the Eikeltjes Alles Ronald. We got a lot of crazy names at that time. But then we thought something more serious. Uh, actually, it never got any more serious than the Rapalje, and that's not very serious, actually, but it is to us. So what we did, we went to a library and, uh, well, went through a lot of dictionaries, searching for a good name for our future band. It should have been something like Rascals. And so we found that, because it's a very good uh, translation from Rascals is Rapalje. And that's... Machiel found it in a dictionary and we were cheering, well, that's the name, that's what we want. So that's the name Rapali came out of a dictionary because we were looking for, well, something more decent than Ruck and Pluck. I was playing so loudly on, on the violin that Machiel needed amplification for his instrument. So, well, I had to play even loud, louder than that, because he was getting louder and louder with new batteries and, and all high-tech stuff and that. 
So I, um, I thought of a trick to get my violin four times as loud as it was acoustically. And I'm going to show you now how that's done. I do play in Rapalje, uh, well, not, not as much instruments as I can play, actually. I'm a very lazy person. No, no, I, I, that's, well, I am, but, but that's not the reason for it. Because my colleagues play a lot of instruments and I don't want to double these instruments. So my, my main instrument is the violin or the fiddle, if you wish, because it's folk music. But I also play the teacher space and sometimes the tin whistle. So when you do start a folk band, well, uh, Machiel and me, we thought, you have to look folky as well. And wear a, a, a Polish, Polish folk vest or something, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's folk, it's really folk, but it's Polish. Uh, and actually, I started out with this, but then we thought, no, no, we, we, we need some more, something more Celtic, more Irish or Scottish. So obviously, we went wearing kilts. But we didn't want the, the modern, normal kilts. We wanted something more exotic with the kilts. So uh, at that time, we looked at the film Braveheart. That was a hit at that time. Yeah, it's a long time ago, I know. And we actually a bit of copied the style of kilt wearing uh, from that film, from that movie. And they actually just made it up for that movie. It's not historically correct as far as I know, but it could have been possible. That's what we are wearing nowadays, the kilts, Braveheart style. We call it now Rapalje style. But we didn't want to wear uh, a tartan from an existing clan of the Scots, because, well, as you probably know, we're from the Netherlands. And it's, it's, not, it's not a good idea to just copy someone else's tartan and his family name and stuff like that. So what we wanted to do is create our own tartan. So I made our own tartan. And I thought we can use our own colors, the colors you like. Uh, my, my kilt is quite brown. Uh, Michael's kilt is, is reddish. Uh, William's kilt is green-like. David's kilt is more blue. So they chose their own colors. When I, I made, I made the, the, the tartan. Uh, the, we all used the same, the same pattern on it. So we got our own tartan, a Rapali clan tartan. And uh, we actually registered it on the Scottish database of tartans. So if you want to see that, you can look it up. Some people wonder why I wear the kilt uh, the other way around as my colleagues. I've got the flap on this side and the rest all on this side. Originally, you should wear it on this side, so I, I'm, I'm on the wrong side here. But try to play a violin with a flap of kilt cloth beneath it. It's not working at all, so that's why I changed it around. But later I found out it has another meaning, the head of the clan used to wear the other way around. So, who knows? <laughs> uh, I've got a question about the length of the kilt. Actually, um, well, how it's put together. Normally, the length of the kilt is 10 meters of cloth. Uh, it's the same with us, but, well, you just got the, the, the dress part, let's say the dress part, and then you've got some meters left and you just throw it over your shoulder. We already made a video where you can see how I put it on. Be easy and free. When you're drinking with me, that's what we sing in the song Jock Stewart. And we, you can make a lot of great sentences from the idea of be easy and free. But with me, come on, I'm deep. Be easy and free when you're drinking with me. Cheers.